Hello folks, uh, this is for the Cordy for Windows users. Uh, a bug has come to my attention. Basically in Windows, uh, dependent upon the driver that the manufacturer developed for their MIDI controller, you are either able to open a device by only one piece of software at a time, or you can open it by multiple pieces of software. Uh, in the case of me, I have a Korg Kronos, and that is able to be opened by multiple software applications at the same time. Uh, I also have a VMK 161 made by Studio Logic, and that is not able to be opened by multiple applications at the same time. So what this means for you is, say you were trying to trigger sounds in your DAW and also have Cordy open at the same time. Uh, if you were using a controller like the Kronos, you would be able to do that. If you're using something like the VMK161 or another board, you would not be able to do that. Whichever application opens first is the application that can use the device. So if you open, say you open your DAW first, that means Cordy will not be able to see your MIDI controller. Or if you open Cordy first, then your DAW is not going to be able to see uh, your MIDI controller. So here's the workaround that I have found. You need to grab Loop MIDI, which I will go ahead and install and walk you through this. Accept, next, next, install, yes. I'm doing this on a Windows 8 install running inside Parallels. Um, finish. Okay. So now... Now what you have to do is, in loop MIDI, you have to add a port, and then this is going to let you send uh, stuff between applications. It's going to send MIDI data between applications, so I'll just set this in the corner. Now I'm going to open up the DAW that I have installed. Um, we'll wait for this to disappear. Because since I'm, you know, I'm running everything on OS X, I don't have anything really going on in Windows, so I don't own a DAW or anything. So I'm just using the demo version of Reaper. Okay, so what I need to do is under Options, Preferences, here's the loopback port. Here are my two controllers. Notice I opened the DAW first. So I need to open the loop MIDI port. I have to enable it. What this is going to do is any stuff that comes in on this channel. If I click Apply, um, I can right click here. Uh, I don't know, this MIDI track control is um, There's a way to make this. Uh, oh, it's the IO. Click the IO button. So for this track, I need to route it to the MIDI hardware output. Um, so I set that to loop MIDI output. And what that means is when I play stuff on the Kronos, it's going to get sent out to this loop MIDI port, which means I can open another application, such as FM8. Um, I can go to audio and MIDI settings, and I can turn on the loop MIDI port. And click OK. And now if I have a patch loaded up, now if I play on the Kronos, you hear all that crazy latency. But uh, we're seeing MIDI on both devices. So now I can open QWERTY, pull QWERTY to the front, I can set this to loop MIDI input port. And there we go. We have uh, MIDI coming out of our DAW, going through loop MIDI, and going into QWERTY. So that is the workaround to make uh, your MIDI controller work with both uh, pieces of software at the same time. Again, this is a Windows driver issue. It's dependent upon the manufacturer. This is not a bug in Cordy. This is not a bug in your DAW. This is a bug in Windows and how they, uh, however the driver, however the manufacturer of your MIDI controller developed their driver. All right, uh, I will post links in the description for how to do uh, what software you need. All right, hopefully you get it working for you.